Like I know there's a, a running joke about how hard it is for managers to get like players to Grimsby, um, but I mean, just for one day, it was an absolute nightmare. So Jack's uh, a pal of mine, I've known Jack for a number of years now, I did his tour support um, earlier on in the year and I'm doing it again later on and um, we just kind of hung out and I just thought, I'll just text him, see if he fancies coming to Grimsby and weirdly he said yes and I was like, what an idiot. Enjoyed the game, a um, little bit worried when we went 1-0 down. That, I'm going to look at the goal again, I think I, might, I, could, I probably could have saved it, made a really good save in the first few minutes which I'm over the moon about um, and then yeah we just kind of like shaped up a little bit. Uh, made a few subs and managed to nick it 2-1. So yeah, but all in all, great day and raised a lot of money, so I mean, everyone's got to be happy with that, haven't they? It's fantastic. It's, uh, I played, last played on this about 30 years ago when I uh, played for the college and uh, I, I didn't have a very good game that day and I'm trying to uh, redeem that a little bit. So it's a long time ago and uh, we'll see where we are. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a special day. There's a uh, lot of fans turning up, which is uh, exactly what we want to see. Obviously, you know, everyone's here to see Jack Whitehall, but for me it's it's Gritton, it's uh, Gary Croft and uh, Danny North. When we beat Spurs, it was a, an amazing night. Of course, yeah. yeah, it was a cracking night. And also we did a pre-season at boot camp, Russell Slade took us, and that sticks out in the mind because that, that was quite a week. Michael Reddy kept us entertained uh, and trying to get Tony Crane to go around an obstacle course. Uh, at the army barracks was quite interesting as well. Yeah, Russell was, Russell was brilliant. I thought um, he was really good with the media, he was really good with the players, had a great rapport, knew how to manage squads of varying degrees of, you know, from youth right through to really experienced pros that we had. Um, I, I really hope he does well here because it's, um, I'm sure there's a lot of fans that are glad to see him back. The Bug Boys is a, a charity close to my heart and to the club Broadley FC that was set up. Um, it's all in memory of, of Richard Broadley, who was a, an avid town fan. I know we've got his picture over there in the pontoon. Um, just a real gentleman, really, a top lad. Um, we're everybody loved and, and he sort of won people's hearts um, to everybody he met, really. Sadly passed away from leukaemia at age 20 uh, after a short battle with the illness. Um, so we just wanted to do something as a group of friends collectively set up Broadley FC I and mean, we've obviously now got the two teams Lincoln and Grimsby had a great match this morning which Grimsby won which I'm a bit surprised about but I'm pleased for them um, yeah and it's just about raising money for Bloodwise um, raising awareness for leukemia leukemia and lymphoma and just raising as much money we can get some research so football was something you love to do and I think it just sort of fitted nicely into remembering it like that as a football club. We're hoping to get around £6,000 for the summer total. We've got £4,000 at the minute. And we just keep stepping up and stepping up. We have a, a Just Giving page, which is, I think, www.justgiving.com forward slash Broadly FC. Or you, we're on Facebook as well as Broadly FC. Just to get in touch with us, you can drop us a message on there. Um, and again, in events like this, we have bucket collections and things as well. So we do appreciate everything that everyone does for us.